Hi, this is Ron Childress, and I'm doing another short video on how you uh, put a PDF file into your website. It needs to be converted to an image, like a JPEG, because you don't, you can't upload PDF files to your website. In addition, we're going to send this PDF file to a MailChimp group. So if you have um, uh, MailChimp and you'd like to send a, a newsletter to your MailChimp group, then it's easy to do. If you don't have MailChimp and or the social media plugin, uh, give me a call and we'll arrange what it takes to put it on there. Um, so, in order to convert PDF files to images, like a JPEG, I use two different programs. There's two programs that are easy to use and they're free. The first program is called Foxit Reader. And that can be, if you just do a Google search for Foxit Reader, you'll come to the place to download the software. Go ahead and download that and, and install it. Uh, that's a very easy to use PDF reader. Um, it's easy to, to capture text as well as get pictures out of it. The second program that you're going to want to have is called EarthenView. I've talked about this for a long time. This is a graphics program. It's free to download and it's EarthenView. I-R-F-A-N-V-I-E-W. EarthenView. And you just simply download and install that program. You don't have to have it default to any particular files. Um, you just install it and, and uh, choose not to default files to open up in that. If you're using a different uh, program or a set of programs or you're using Photoshop or you're using something that you can convert the, the PDF into a JPEG, you don't need these programs. These are easy to use and they're free and I do recommend them uh, because of that. Now if you have a PDF file, um, this is a PDF file for uh, Cobble Banker. Uh, this is a reality check. But it's something that an agent wants to send out to her list in MailChimp, and we're going to do that. The first thing you need to do is you'll need to convert this into a JPEG. With the Foxit Reader, there's something called Snapshot. And by the way, if this video is too small, you'll want to re uh, look at it full size so that you can see everything going on. But there's an option called Snapshot here in the Foxit Reader. And if you click on the first page of the of the PDF file and then go to your EarthenView program and do edit and paste, you'll paste that graphic into EarthenView. So that becomes now you're going to be able to save this as a JPEG. When you uh, you'll want to resize it so it fits into your mail program, and that's done here under image, and you go to resize, resample and you type in 600 pixels wide and the height will take care of itself but it needs to be 600 pixels wide to fit into the email that gets sent out to your mail list so there's 600 pixels wide and once you do that you'll probably want to do view and do original size and now we may want to sharpen it so that it's easier to read so image and sharpen and that focuses up the page a little bit because we've reduced the size we've made it smaller then things get a little blurry and you want to go ahead and focus it so it's sharper once we've done that then you go to file and we're going to save it as and it gives you an option here to save as and we're going to save it as a jpeg so you would choose jpeg in your selections here jpg and you'd give it a name, call it, in this case I've done Reality Check 1 because it's a two-page form. So I have Reality Check 1 in there. And this little screen will come up for the save options. And I use 80% for the quality. That keeps the file nice and, and compact and light and small so that it's easy to download for your users. So you, once again, you go through and you save once you've resized it to 600, image, resize, resample, 600, and now file, save as, and you choose JPEG, 
give it a name and click save and I've, I've already done that so now I'm, I would just save it in there and then I go back and I do the second page so I have to click it twice now because clicking it first time takes the color off the first page and now I've done the second page I go back to Irfan view I don't have to worry about this this photo that can just stay there I go to edit and I want to I want to paste in what I just copied. So that's the second page. I need to resize it. Resize, resample. And I put in 600 pixels wide. The height adjusts automatically. I go to view and put original size. And then I like to sharpen it. Image. And then sharpen. And that focuses it just a little bit so it's easier to read. File. Save as and I simply call it in this case it's reality check 2 because it's the second page of the um, the PDF file so I've got two pages of PDF files now ready to go you also want to create a um, featured image you want to get a, a graphic for the featured image so in this case I simply cut out I'm going to use the um, the graph here for the featured image and I go to I, I draw a box around it and I go to edit and the box is drawn with your mouse you just click and hold it and it will draw a box so hold the left but button down and drag it down to the corner it draws a box I go to edit and then crop and that's the box that's the graphic I'm going to use for the featured image and again file save as and I'm going to call it Reality, reality check featured because that's my featured image and I just save it as a JPEG okay so now I've got those images saved I used Foxit Reader and Earthen View to convert it from the PDF file and save it as a JPEG those are two important things you'll need to do in order to save these PDF files now I'm going to add the post and in the post um, there are some things that you need to do. You'll need to make sure to save the information. Um, no, I'm sorry, one second here. You want to save the information for, from the file. And uh, let me just download it here again. Okay. In the Foxit Reader, you're able to save under Text Select. You can highlight the text, copy it, and then you can save that text right here in the post. So we're adding a new post. I put in the uh, title, which is here. That's the title. And I'm copying over one paragraph by highlighting it and choosing Copy. Okay. All right, so I'm highlighting one paragraph. I'm choosing copy, and I'm pasting that into my post here. You want to have a few lines of text, and then you can have the graphics. So in this case, I'm posting a few lines of text, and now I'm going to add the media, and the media is the graphic, the post, the, the, the PDF files which are now converted to JPEG. So I'm going to find those files. Here is Reality Check 1. So I'm going to go ahead and open Reality Check 1 and I'm going to insert that into the post. And when I do, I'm going to change a couple of things. I'm not going to link it to anything so there'll be no media link and it is going to be full size. So I insert that into the post and then I do it again for page two. Upload page two. Put it in there. It's I'm going to change the linking so that it links to nothing. And it's at full size and it's centered. And I'm going to put it into the post. So now I have both pages in the post. And on the right hand side, like every other post, I'm going to choose a category. In this case, it is a community blog and I'm also going to send it to MailChimp 
because I want to send it to my customers using MailChimp. In this case, it's MailChimp test. It's only going to go to a couple of us. But you would just choose your customer list in MailChimp. And again, if you don't have MailChimp set up, contact me and I will be able to uh, get you started with that. So now I'm going to add the featured image. This is the featured image spot here. And I'm going to click on set featured image. And I'm uploading the file here for featured image. Click on open and it gives me a chance to set the featured image. Once it's uploaded, wait till it finishes uploading, click on set featured image and then it will show up here on your post for set featured image. A couple of the quick things is I'm going to hide the featured image in the post itself because I don't need to see the featured image and that's here under featured image display. So now I'm going to scroll back up and I've got the title from the PDF. I've got a couple, I've got about three or four sentences from the PDF file here. I've added the content, which is the JPEGs that I created using PDF and Irfan View. And I've chosen categories, and I've got the featured image. From there, I'm now going to publish the post. And when it publishes, it's going to do several things. It's going to go ahead and post to your website, of course. Um, it will also post to Facebook if you have the Facebook option. And again, if you don't, call me and we'll, uh, I'll let you know what it takes. But this is what the post looks like when you view the post. You've added the reality check. You've got the post here on the reality check. You've got both pages of it here. So people can read this on your community blog, which is um, on your website here. There'll be a spot for a community blog or whatever you want to call it. In this case, it's called community blog. And the reason why we want to include a featured image is so it shows up here on this. If we don't include a featured image, then there would be no picture on your blog post. Click on read more here. It shows you the blog post and it shows you the graphics that we did. We simply took the PDF files, reduced them in size, made them JPEGs, reduced them in size there to fit on the page. Now the other things that it's done is you've posted it to your web page, yes, but you've also posted it to your Facebook page. And you'll see it shows up here on your Facebook page. And here again is the graphic, uh, the featured image. If we didn't have a featured image in there, it would come up with a default image. But in this case, it has the featured image, which is the graphic. And this has a link that goes back to your website. And that's very important. You have links that go back to your website so that you can get those what are called backlinks for search engine optimization purposes. On the, again, on the post here, you're going to have a Facebook like page. People can send it to their friends. They can like it. They can refer it. They can do many things with it. Also, something else that happens when you have posted this is that you're going to see that you've got a new campaign in MailChimp. So here's a new campaign that was automatically created using just by, by posting it in your website. And when those new campaigns come in, when people see them, uh, this is the email that you get, that your customers get, through MailChimp. So now I've sent the graphics and, and these PDF files have been sent via MailChimp to the list of customers and that's what they get when they see that. So then in MailChimp you can see that uh, this went in this case to four people there you can see this is pretty much real time so one person has opened it and that one person in this case was um, oh Kathleen opened it uh, it'll it'll also show me here in just a moment um, so that's how you put in uh, 
the information into your website and also into so it, it goes into your MailChimp and gets emailed out to your customers. It goes on to your Facebook page. So you have lots of exposure with everything that you're doing. So if you have any questions on that, feel free to call me or contact me, ron at simcats.com. That's Sam Mary Mary C A T S dot com. Or you can call me at 925 658 4718. Thank you very much.